Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to update your website using WordPress. So we'll start by going to our browser, we'll type in our website address, sagefinancialadvisors.com, and we'll scroll down. This is what your website looks like to everybody before you log in. Then you click log in or site admin, or if you don't have this link, you can just type in sagefinancialadvisors.com slash wordpress slash wp-admin, and that will take you to the same place. So for you guys, type in your username and your password. log in and it brings up the dashboard now you can tell looking you've got one post 14 pages one category zero tags this is kind of a quick overview of your site these are recent comments where you can go and trash them mark them as spam or approve them Let's see, this one says, welcome to free game park play, free game PC. So that one's obviously spam, so we'll just click spam, delete that one. These are some older ones, and we can just trash these guys. And undo them if you accidentally delete it. Okay, so to edit a post, well, first of all, over here is kind of your navigation for your dashboard. You've got your main dashboard, that's like your home link. Posts, media, links, pages, comments, appearance, plugins, users, tools, and settings. And this lower box you guys aren't going to mess with much. Uh, this is more stuff that we will be dealing with. If you have questions about it, just call us and we'll, we'll deal with it. Otherwise, you guys can stick to this section here. So to update a post, a post is one of your posts on your blog. It's just your blog. So we'll click posts. We've got one in there right now. It's the word on the street and we can edit it. This part works just like Word, Microsoft Word. Once you're done editing, you click update. Or say we want to add a new post, we can click add new right here or add new right here click it enter a title enter your content you can make this a link by clicking the little chain link button and it brings up uh, the link URL all this stuff cancel that out oops um, if you want to add a picture you click this little square here, that's add an image. You can add a video. You can add audio. I don't know why you guys would ever do that. Or you can add media. And to add media, this would be like your PDFs that you upload in your other pages. But for the most part, on your posts, it'll probably just be content and maybe a photo, maybe a video. So to up, add one of those, you just click the button. You can either link to your YouTube URL from if you click URL or you upload the file from your computer or if you uploaded a PDF to your media library you would go click one from your library but anyways let's get back to this so once you have uh, done all that just click publish and it posts it to your site which you can get to by going here so say we posted that, it would show up on the news page. Okay, so to edit a page, oops, it automatically prompts you to, if you want to see if you want to save this draft, and we don't want to save this draft. So we'll go to pages. These are all of your pages. Got your home page, Sage Approach, the sub page under the under another page, like process or Schwab custody site, 
they're marked by the m dash there. So that's what that means. So say we want to edit a page, we can click on edit. This is how it generally looks. Um, we've got our link to the Bloomberg site here, our header, and then our paragraph here. So say there was a typo and we just went in and changed it. Just do that, click update. Then we go to that page. What page was it? The street. And our change would show up there. You may have to refresh if it's not there immediately. Okay, now for media, this, this is all the PDFs that you'll upload. Um, so basically to add more, you just click add new, select the file from your computer, navigate to it, hit open, and it will upload it into your library. And then to insert that into a page, you go to your pages, um, I believe it's Reese, uh, maybe it's Brian's articles. You can see you've got your list of them here. So what you'll do is you'll say, enter, con enter, click the media button. It's like a starfish. Select a file from your media library here. Um, to look at the files, you click show and title's already in because that's the title of the PDF. It automatically puts in the URL, so you just click insert into post. And see it just put the incessant pursuit of protecting us uh, right in there. But we've already got that one in, so we'll delete it. Update that page. Go to that page, and all of our changes are in there. See all of our links. Now, for the comments section, this is the same thing we were dealing with on the home page. These are from Brian from before, so we'll just trash them. Uh, hopefully, you won't get too much spam. If you do, let us know, and we can uh, insert some more spam filters for you guys. Links is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you don't really need to deal with this at all. I've never had to use it, so just kind of ignore that one. And let's see, what else? Every once in a while, if you get a circle with a number in it by any of these, it means there's either an update or there's a new comment or some kind of something has happened in your media page or your dashboard. Uh, let us know if you're unsure what it is, and we will do the update or deal with it ourselves. So, I think that's all I can think of to show you guys. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.